Well, here it is, our home for the next few weeks, the Sky Sports News Euros bus. Look out for it. It's going to be up and down the country as we bring you all the news from the 30 games, 16 nations taking part. And it will all culminate, of course, in the final at Wembley. Just at the back of the bus, final preparations are being made. Hopefully we'll be allowed on in the next hour. That studio up there will be used for Euro kickoff. Good morning, sports fans, becomes good morning Euros for you early risers at 7 a.m. And along the way, we will have plenty of guests who will join us. Our very first one is here. Esme Morgan, welcome to the bus. I think you and I are going to be seeing a lot of this over the next few weeks. Just how excited are you? You are a Manchester girl to have the very first Euros game kicking off tomorrow night. It must be thrilling for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited and so many people are buzzing about it and talking about it all the time and you can see everyone even just walking past the bus, they're stopping to take an interest and think what's going on um, and smiling and taking pictures and I just think the interest around the game is just so exciting um, and hopefully the girls can put on a performance to match all the attention it's getting. It is getting a lot of attention. We were joking before, weren't we? You, you're more used to seeing uh, your teammates now on the sides of, of bus stops <laughs> and tower bridge uh, than kind of just playing football and that's a sign really of what might come over the next few weeks. Yeah it's amazing I remember Lauren told me about uh, doing that shoot for the night thing she was like we're going to be projected on all these buildings but when I've seen the photos of it it's even more impressive than I imagined when she told me the idea and for the amount of people that are going to see those images and take an interest in the Euros and show the girls the support. I just think it's so, so exciting for them to feel that weight of support behind them. Uh, if things have been different, you may well have been part of Serena Vickman's team, but you were injured just before you were called up for her first squads, weren't you? So, yeah, your loss is our gain over the next <laughs> few weeks, Esme. Um, just tell us how you are and, and just how gutted, because this is a little bit of a once-in-a-lifetime thing, isn't it, that you've you've missed out on. Yeah, and it was something I had in my sights last pre-season and at the start of last season. I wanted to get to this Euros because how often do you play a major tournament at home in your own country with home fans filling every stadium? So it was something I was so excited about and then, yeah, broke my leg and my surgeon sort of told me, you'll be out for a year. And when he told me that, my immediate thought was, oh, the Euros. But I'm sort of at peace with it now and I'm fully fit, I'm doing everything. Um, physically that I've always been able to do before my injury and so I'm feeling really really good and hoping to p contribute in a different way to the tournament. Well we are very much looking forward uh, to having you alongside us. You mentioned Lauren. Yeah. Lauren we will speak about Lauren in a moment but before then England arrived in Manchester last night. They left St George's Park lots and lots of fans waving flags wishing them uh, good luck over the next few weeks. They really hope that this group of players can go and make a little bit of history and win that first trophy. And before they left, we managed to catch up with Ella too. Now, the first time she played at Manchester United a few years ago, at half-time when she was an academy player, she took a little bit of Old Trafford grass with her as a memento. She said it didn't last very long, but she never thought then that she would be playing at a home Euros, which, of course, kicks off at Old Trafford tomorrow evening. This is something else, yeah. I played at Old Trafford and it was an unbelievable experience and an amazing day. Um, but obviously now we're stepping out, full stadium, um, playing for England in our home year roles. It's, yeah, it's going to be an amazing day. I manifest it. I manifest scoring at Old Trafford and, and knee sliding. But I think for me it's about if I do get an opportunity to step out on the pitch to, to be the best teammate and to do everything I can to help the team. My uncle's bought a box, so there's eight in there. My dad's got a box, so there's eight in there. And then I've bought about 20 tickets for the rest of them. So, yeah, there'll be a lot. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot from Tilsey as well, where I'm from. Um, so, yeah, I just want to go out there and make them lot proud as well. But it sounds like every member of Ella Toon's family is going to be packed into Old Trafford. <laughs> Would not surprise no. me. No, <laughs> you spoke to some of the girls yesterday. How were they feeling? Just so excited. They'd obviously had their send off at St George's Park and then they said when they got to the hotel, everyone was out cheering for them, welcoming them there. And I think 
it, they've been preparing for so, so long now. They've been in camp since the end of May and they've just been waiting all this time for this very moment to come around the first game and it'll fly by now but they've been building up, had so much tension coming into it and just they wanted to get the friendlies out of the way and just get to the real thing and I think they're all buzzing that it's finally here. And you mentioned Lauren Hemp talking about uh, being projected on iconic buildings. Uh, she's somebody you know very well, isn't she? she you played at Manchester City. She's also your teammate, so come on then, spill the beans. Is she a good teammate? Does she make the tea? Does she make her bed? Does she behave herself? Well, I leave her bedroom to her. <laughs> Try and persuade her to do the bins a bit more often, but we know each other really well, so we each have our own roles, and she's a great person to live with, very laid back, and what you see from her is what you get. She's so humble and friendly. And what you see from her is an extraordinary footballer. She is four-time Young Player of the Year. Yeah. What makes her so special? Because she's the player that a lot of people say is going to be the one that steals the headlines that becomes a household name by the end of July. I think it's how competitive she is. A lot of people talk about her speed and that's not for debate. She's one of the fastest players in the world but it's her drive to get there. You get fast players but they don't use it but Lauren's so aggressive in how she plays and she's always going after every single loose ball. Never ever gives up and she's a real fighter and I think that's what makes her special is just her drive to get to every ball and win every single game.